Welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So, let us continue our discussion on interesting applications on linear of linear algebra in various areas such as machine learning, signal processing, communications, data analytics and in today in particular let us look at another very interesting and upcoming application and that is in the area of uh, data analytics and data analysis and what we call as recommender systems which is as I am going to describe a very very important so this is what is known as a recommender system this is a very interesting and novel application in the area of data analytics And uh, this recommender system is a very important component of modern commercial websites. For instance, if you look at websites such as uh, either e-commerce websites such as Amazon or Flipkart or other um, streaming sites such as Netflix or Amazon Prime, which essentially recommend products or movies or series and so on right so that is essentially what the recommender system is about so this essentially is a very important component of uh, of modern commercial websites of modern commercial websites such as for instance um, we have Amazon, Netflix and so on. So essentially what is the idea here? The idea here is uh, for instance if you have an e-commerce right? right. So for instance you have the commercial websites such as either Netflix or Amazon, Flipkart so on and so forth. So, if you have an e-commerce site, how to recommend products? You would like to recommend products based on based on search slash purchase history. Right, the idea here is to mine the data, to sift through the data to look at what products you have purchased or what products a particular user has purchased or uh, searched and look at what products other users with similar interests have purchased and then try to find a pattern and recommend the suitable product so as to maximize the possibility that the user is going to purchase a particular product. Right. So, that is a very important component of uh, modern e-commerce. Right. Similarly, for instance, if you have a, a streaming site, right, if you have video streaming, then what you want to do here is to essentially, uh, you would like to recommend, right, movies or series. based on past viewing history. That is essentially what movies etc. a person has seen, uh, what are the movies or series a person with related interests as seen and then somehow try to find these match these interests and try to recommend movies or series to a new user right so 
uh, or recommend new movies to another user. All right. So that these so these are very challenging problems. So let us take a simple example to understand this thing. For instance, let us take a movie scenario, a movie streaming website. Let us say we have this table in which the columns are these are the movies and the rows are the different users. So, you have so L equals number of users and K equals basically the number of movies and there are some ratings some users have assigned. For instance, you have user 1 has assigned rating R 1 2 to movie 2, no rating to movie 3. R 1 4 to movie 4 and so on, user 2 has assigned rating R 2 1 to movie 1, R 2 2 to movie 2, no ratings to 3 4, maybe some other movies there are ratings. So, user 3 no rating to 1 2, rating to R 3 3 no rating to R uh, 4. So, and so on and so forth. So, the essence here is now the point is not all users have seen. So, not all users have seen all movies right. So, some users have seen some movies for instance user 1 has seen movie 2 and 4 and rated that user 2 has seen movie 1 and 2 and uh, uh, user 1 has rated movie 2 and 4 and rated and user 2 has seen movies 1 and 2 and rated those and so on and so forth. So, essentially you have some users who have seen some ratings all right. So, essentially so these are the known ratings if you look at this try to understand this problem uh, in depth these are known ratings and uh, these are essentially this where you have the blanks these are unknown. Now, how do you predict the task here is how to predict. So, task is how to predict which is if you think about this how to predict how to predict these how to predict these unknown ratings and that is essentially how to predict these unknown ratings for instance user 2 has not rated not seen movie 3. So, if user 2 were to watch movie 3 what would the rating R 2 be R 2 3 be how to predict that and based on that one can recommend based on the rating predictions therefore, one can recommend these products or movies to user 2 and so on for other users. Okay. So, essentially as you can very see this is a matrix right if you look at this this is a matrix right. So, if you look at it at the heart of it you can e easily see and so this is uh, I think k is the number of movies. So, you have k columns and you have l rows with some entries that are vacant for instance 
R11 is vacant, R13 is vacant. So, these are for instance, these are vacant, R23 is vacant, right. So, now you have to fill these vacant. So, this is a k cross. So, you can see this is an L cross k matrix. And we have to fill or complete complete the missing entries and therefore, this is also known as this recommender system is essentially also known as a uh, so therefore, is also known as your matrix matrix completion problem. So, this is belongs to a broad class of problems known as matrix completion problem or a broad class of algorithms to complete matrices, right. So, matrix, so you can think of these as matrix completion techniques. The essential idea is there are some ratings, some ratings are missing. How do you predict these unknown ratings to complete this matrix? That is the idea of the matrix completion problem. So, the idea is predict predict these unknown ratings to complete the matrix that is the idea behind this matrix completion problem. So, for instance, not all ratings are known, R12 is known. So, you have R12 known, R14, R21, this is also known and then you have R11 this is unknown or not known. So, how to predict that is the idea, how to So, how to predict these unknown ratings ok. And uh, therefore, this is a mat uh, matrix completion problem. Now, once you complete the matrix right, after matrix completion you simply recommend the movie. Now, how does this work? Once the matrix is completed you have the predictions, you have the ratings that the user has given and you have the predictions of the ratings for the movies which the user has not seen. Now, for the movies which the user has not seen, simply recommend the movie with the highest rating prediction. So, that is essentially a recommender system. So, the matrix completion problem naturally leads to a recommender system. So, once, so after matrix completion, recommend to use a movie or product with highest so once you 
so once you complete this matrix once you complete this matrix the only thing that is left to do is essentially recommend a movie and what you movie are you can going to recommend the movie you can recommend is only uh, of course you cannot recommend a movie that the user has already seen does not make any sense you can only recommend a movie makes sense to recommend a movie that the user has not seen and how do you recommend the movie that not the user has not seen simply choose uh, the movie that the user has not seen with the highest predicted rating and that would be your guess of the most preferred movie by that particular user and so that you maximize the chance that the user uh, probably purchases and watches the movie or subscribes to that uh, streaming service or website and so on and so all the user purchases that particular product and so on. So that is the essential idea. Okay. And how do we implement and if you look at it, it is very interesting how linear algebra comes into this. So, it is a let us look at a simple recommender system or a simple recommender let us look at a simple recommender algorithm for instance this would be r a let us take all the ratings now let us compute the average rating or you can say this is basically your overall bias So, similar to several uh, techniques that we have seen such as PCA and so on, eigenfaces, etc., one can look at all the data and remove the bias, right? Compute the mean, sample mean and remove that, treat that as a bias and remove that. So, the overall bias or the average can be computed as follows. So, I can use all the existing ratings. So, sigma i, sigma j such that r i j is known you take this that is you choose all the ratings that are known and simply take the average j such that r i j is known and uh, this is basically what this is doing is this is simply taking uh, the sum of all the known ratings and taking their sample mean that is average of all known ratings. Okay, so, if you look at this what this is performing average of this is performing average of all known ratings and this is what we are calling as the overall bias. Right, this is what we are calling as overall bias. So, now you remove this to form the unbiased rating r tilde i j equal to r i j minus. So, this is your and this is your bias and this is the this is the original rating. Okay. Now, we have to construct a model for the rating. What is our rating model? Of course, here one can construct a very complex model, but the idea is to keep it simple. Let us try to come up with a first order prediction for the purpose of this lecture and of course, in research and of course, and further analysis one can come up with more complex models and in fact, uh, this recommender system is uh, the uh, uh, it is it is confidential right. You can clearly see if a website has a good recommender system then that naturally has a big advantage in the market. So, many of these things are unknown right. If people uh, uh, the different companies or websites would like to keep these algorithms confidential. Uh, 
and either would like to keep them confidential, unknown, or maybe would like to patent them so that no one else can use the use it without paying a royalty, right? So let us look here at a simple ratings model. Let us say this R tilde i j, and this is reasonable, can be expressed as uh, a sum of u i plus So, a simple model that is where this u i is the bias of user i and this m j is bias or essentially characteristic of movie j. So, there are two things here each rating can be reviewed as a sum of two things one is if the user has a particular bias, maybe some users rate all movies high, some users are very critical, some rate all movies low. So, there is a certain user bias and then there are some movies for instance which are good, which are rated well by all the users, some movies which are rated poorly by all this, there are some inherent qualities of the u of a movie naturally, right. So, we can express this as a first order model as u i plus m j that is bias of user i plus bias corresponding to movie j, this is the r tilde i j. All right. So, this you can think of this as essentially a first order model, right. First order model for rating You can think of this as a first order model for reading prediction and uh, there for instance, you have your r tilde 1 2 that can be expressed as for instance, let us say that can be expressed as u 1 plus m 2 that is bias of user 1 and this is bias of movie 2. So, you have r tilde 1 2 equals u 1 plus m 2. Now, we are in business. Now, we have therefore, r tilde 1 2 equal to u 1 plus m 2 and then you can also write uh, for instance uh, uh, r tilde 1 4 equals u 1 plus m 4 r tilde 2 1 equals u 1 plus m 2 and so on and so forth. And then therefore, for all the known ratings you have a nice linear system of equations. And what are the unknown quantities? The unknown quantities are these biases corresponding to the users and the movies that is u i and m j these are unknown quantities and we have to determine this from this linear system of equations, right. So, we have a very interesting problem and now you can see the application of. So, these are essentially all these quantities these are essentially your unknown. And naturally, when you look at this something like this, you should be immediately tempted to represent this in matrix form. That is the whole idea behind this course to use the principles of linear algebra, matrix algebra to get valuable insights. And therefore, I can naturally write this as a system, as the system which is, of course, in practice, you can guess this is going to be very, very big r tilde 1, 2, r tilde 1, 4 r tilde 2 1 this is equal to I have a matrix. Now, let me first write this vector over here. These are the biases corresponding to L users and these are the biases corresponding to the K movies. So, these are 
this is an L plus k size vector contains biases of users and movies, contains biases of users and movies. And uh, here you naturally have this for instance r tilde 1 2, this is r u 1 uh, plus m 2. So, you will have a large number of zeros and at that some point you will have m 2. So, this will be your 1 1 entry and this will be since you have the l users and then this is m 2. So, this will be the 1 comma l plus 2 entry corresponding to m 2 right. So, you have 1 comma l plus 2 and similarly r tilde 1 4 this will be u 1 plus large number of zeros uh, plus uh, m uh, 4. So, this will be again your 1 comma l plus 4 entry and this will be, uh, I am sorry this will be the second row. So, this will be 2 comma l plus 4 and this will be 2 comma 1 and so on and so forth and of course, rest will also be so, so on and so forth. You can find this matrix and this matrix you can call this z. This is basically you can call this as your vector r tilde which contains all the unbiased all the after removal of the bias all ratings all known ratings after removal of overall bias So, this and this is the matrix C which essentially matrix of 1s and zeros. you can clearly see this is a matrix of 1s and zeros. Okay. And presumably this is going to be a tall matrix right. The idea is that you have a large number of ratings because remember each user has probably seen hundreds of movies. So, uh, um, um, I mean let us say you have about uh, 100 users and uh, uh, let us say you have thousands of movies each user has let us say seen and rated about 100 movies. So, you can clearly see uh, there is going to be a each if you each user has seen 100 movies. So, and you have 100 users and you are going to have 100 into 100 that is 10,000 such. Uh, so, 10,000 such rows in this matrix right corresponding to the known ratings right. So, you can see this is going to be a very tall matrix. In fact, the number of unknowns will be very small compared to the number of knowns because the number of ratings that is available is typically huge. And of course, one has to come up with techniques to solve this efficiently and so on and so forth. And uh, therefore, now you have and if I call this as the vector b bar, this is the bias vector b bar, then you have a very interesting system that is r tilde equal to c b bar, where this is essentially an over determined system, because you have a large number of ratings. since the number of ratings is very large and naturally you know what is the solution for this. At this stage we have to be very comfortable solving over determined systems and therefore, we can write B as C transpose inverse C trans C transpose C inverse C transpose R tilde. Let me just write it. You can write B bar equals 
C transpose C inverse C transpose R tilde. And this is essentially the once again you are very familiar and popular and well loved solution throughout all of engineering and sciences. This is what we call as the least square solution and therefore, once you have the B i bar. Now, prediction for an unknown movie can naturally be determined prediction of movie rating can be obtained as now r hat i j equals this is the overall bias plus u i plus m j this is what gives you the prediction and now the recommender system is to recommend to a particular user i the movie j right which that particular user has not seen and has the highest rating now to recommend now the next the last step is to recommend recommend to user i movie with highest movie with highest r hat i j. Of course, I am not saying un unseen movie because naturally if you have a rating prediction then it would, it would be a movie which the user has not seen. Otherwise, if the user has seen the movie you would have a rating uh, you would have actually have a rating right. So, you can we can add this, but it is not necessary. recommend to user i movie or you can say unseen movie with highest r hat i j which is essentially the rating. which is essentially the rating prediction all right all right so this is essentially a schematic or an outline of a typical recommender system and, and as i already told you so this is a very interesting and novel application this is not something that was there let's say even 30 40 years even 10 years ago all these algorithms have become very popular and becoming more and more popular every day with two things one is the large amount of data social networking this is a lot of relevance for social networking you can see there is it depends on the kind of I mean wherever you have a social network large number of users users liking posts users rejecting posts users rating posts and then you can take all this information and come up with patterns of which user rates is going to rate which tweet or let us say which post or whatever what, what, what are going to be the predictions and, uh, and you can see clearly this is something that is very relevant to the current era of social networks and uh, e-commerce and, and uh, web streaming services. So, another very interesting application of this could be to social networks and ratings of posts and so on so forth right. So, this is uh, these are in fact very interesting applications that are very relevant to the current era dominated by social networks, e-commerce, uh, video streaming services and so on where you have a large number of users participating, rating, choosing different objects, products, rating them and that information can be aggregated processed using linear algebra to come up with meaningful patterns and information that is once again useful to everyone who is a part of this big let us say internet society or this social network all right. So, let us stop here on this note and continue with other such examples interesting examples and modules uh, interesting examples in the subsequent modules thank you very much.